Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new player card today. What is this? FOF Nation Player. Okay, so I guess we're going to call it Nation Player for the title. Uh, we're taking a look at a new Nation Player Jimenez card, who is six foot one, medium high work rates, right footed, two star, three star. Guys, look at how bright this card is in your team. Look at this thing, bro. It just pops. It's like, look, I'm right here. Nice little blue with the yellow accents, little neon color. It's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, so he has the injury prone trait and the dives into tackles trait. You guys know I do love me my dives into tackles trait. Uh, this card actually looks pretty good in game, right? Because he's going to have 97 acceleration with 99 sprint speed, which is obviously going to be great to work with. Uh, the dribbling, we're going to see what the balance and the dribbling is like when it comes to on the ball movement, which I don't necessarily think is going to be like a huge problem because with a card like this or, you know, center backs, it's really just touch and go type movement as much as possible. Um, obviously, when you're under pressure, it's nice to be able to dribble at least a little bit but we'll obviously see in game uh base card stats for shooting on the card he has 83 shot power so no no finishing really uh he's got 92 shot uh, short passing with 82 long passing so passing is okay uh dribbling like i said we will have to experiment with in game with the shadow chemistry style we are going to be making his defensive presence essentially perfect in game with 87 heading accuracy uh what's good about this card is that he is a six foot one player with a high and average body type working with very very good physical stats because you know 97 strength to work with the heights the body type with 94 aggression 94 aggression working with the pace that the card has uh should definitely be a very nice thing he even has 96 jumping uh just in case you know uh a random person does a cross in the air which not necessarily as important it's when people do goal kicks where it's mostly important in my opinion but uh yeah with him and as you know it is a center back review so the rest of the team is not necessarily super relevant what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using our crazy aggressive 352 tactics i love how Giyu already set it up <laughs> because <laughs> he just knows that i use crazy tactics for this uh we're gonna be using him at center back oh, i love this kid man hey by the way guys uh Giyu, uh, this is going to be his, his last year uh, helping me out with the player review stuff because uh, Giyu, uh, uh, not not in a bad thing, he's just his job requires him to be in a certain place that doesn't really allow him to do the FIFA stuff. So RIP to a legend, you know, he's uh, Giyu's been absolutely like a huge help to the YouTube channel this year when it comes to SBC content. He's going to help out with the rest of it. But I just want you guys to know that because Giyu has been an absolute blessing for me when it comes to the SBC content in this game. Uh, I'm thankful because I now have Crime nowadays, which is awesome. Crime is obviously a huge help to me too. Uh, but with Giyu, we're talking about a guy that does the SBCs quick, that does them for me, and all I have to do is just review the card. So, absolute blessing. I just wanted to do that quick little shout-out. There's been a lot of people in the community that's helped me out with a lot of player reviews, even some of the player reviews from the transfer market. And I did want to say uh, a big thank you to you guys because genuinely, I'm not saying this in like a cheesy way, the YouTube channel would not be where it is today if the community did not help me out. And I'm not saying that so you guys can help me out more, blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying that that's literally a fact, okay? So let me just do one thing here because some people are going to get so annoyed by me. Okay, there we go. Uh, actually, I can do much. Oh, no, I can because I can just do that. And then the weak foot... I mean, this doesn't really matter, to be fair, but might as well have the proper players in the right positions. Oh, my goodness. The switching is terrible. Um, okay, yeah. So we're going to use him at center back. Let's see how he plays. Nice. He actually registered. I had to register a uh, fake shot right there because I knew he was going to kick the ball away right away. But uh, not too bad there. Really unfortunate that people weren't able to do this Marcelo card because of how expensive he was at the time. But he's so sick to use, man. By the way, guys, uh, I did do the Xavi review, like, before. I did it, like, a week or so. Or not even a week ago. I think it was, like, three or four days ago. Because um, I always do the iCommon reviews. Because I know at some point they release SBCs for those bad boys. So, it just makes sense for me to do, you know? That was a nice run by Carvalho. My boy. I don't mind his transition speed at all, to be honest. Like, I thought that the balance part would be a little bit more annoying. 
the dribbling is uh is perfectly fine for a center back too. You'll obviously notice it more if your gameplay is like terrible for sure. But um, I don't mind his transition speed left and right so far. It's always good to be able to show you guys like the full thing so you guys can see the actual movement yourself and not me just saying it, right? Tackles gets back, to, back into the play. We'll tackle again to get back into the play quickly. Collect that ball there at Trippier. A big thing you want to test out with center backs, guys, is uh, tackling and seeing how fast they get back into the play. If they do that really quickly, it's definitely a nice thing to have because it's basically the defending nowadays. That was actually a really nice pass. Wasn't like overdone right there to Marcelo. Nice, good job. Super aggressive there in that situation. Still tracks back really quickly to get that ball as well. Not bad at all. Um, his his dribbling is not really annoying me that much so far. Yeah, so I overcommitted a bad space there. Yeah, the chase after is not too bad. I wish he did intercept that part, though. Get a tackle right here. Nice. Switched with uh, Kieran Trippier right there. Still was able to win the ball in the air. Obviously, he's good in the air, so not a problem there. Oh, good tackle there, yeah. Nice. I like forcing situations like that with defenders just to see what they're like, chasing after the player, winning the ball back in those areas. His body type is actually kind of nice to work with, to be fair. Oh, that would have been so sick. I just wanted the sauce right there. Yeah, see, those are the difficult situations that I want to try him out in. Uh, it's being able to stop and transition quickly into that area just from holding the jockey system. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I, I saw the price of the SBC. It's like 170k. For how he's performing in-game, it's definitely not a bad card for 170k. I think he's actually pretty solid. Um, he's obviously not a full meta beast like Mbabu or anything like that, but, you know... I'll take that goal with Dembele. I thought the goalie would react to the shot cancel there. Nice. Controlled him quickly there. First time initial touch there wasn't great. Will we get that tackle off there too? So the only, re the only reason why this card is not like a full meta beast by any means is because of the dribbling stats, obviously. But it's really not a big nuisance on this card, guys, to be honest with you. Nice, his track after was actually really good right there, too. Jimenez is well positioned to be able to get that deflection off of, uh, I believe this is Lorente right here, yeah? Nice. Yeah, from the corner kick, he came back pretty quickly, too. Score that, why not? Since it's because of the end of the game, I do want to try out his dribbling under pressure here. He has no stamina, too. Because we're obviously using the uh, super high pressure tactics. Maybe we get a lucky tackle here? Ah. Kurtal with the save, though, eh? This guy's trying his hardest. He's like, no, I must get this goal back. Yeah, so you definitely notice a little bit of the sway when it comes to his dribbling on the ball. But the off-the-ball stuff, guys, I really don't mind at all. Which is, 
I think the most important thing, to be honest. I'll take that goal. Nice. It was a small little touch right there. It wasn't like a fully, a fully committed tackle, but it was still good enough to be able to get that ball. Again, you can see the dribbling in that situation when it's on the ball. Yep, possession-based body type helps out a lot in that situation. Passes the ball well, considering his dribbling stats aren't really crazy on the ball. Oh, almost got that challenge off there, too. I timed a little bit off, but the foul is actually a little bit helpful there. No, nothing crazy. Oh, possession-based uses his body again. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Jimenez card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, honestly, the only thing that throws you off from using a card like this in your team is obviously the fact that he's not a full meta card, right? So he's not going to be like Mbabu or Zambrot or Carlos Alberto or anything like that, right? Uh, because of the base dribbling stats that he has. But for someone that wants to use someone in the center back position that gives you Atletico Madrid links with certain players that will actually perform well in the meta of the gameplay, he's actually going to be a very solid player. The only thing that you would have to be concerned about a tiny bit is obviously that agile based run when it comes to chasing after people which is the biggest reason why people use fullbacks in the center back position because of how overpowered uh the through balls are right but with this card guys having 97 acceleration 99 sprint speed working with a high and average body type medium high work rates if you're using a 4212 a 4231 a 442 this card will be perfectly fine in those positions when playing in the center back area next to other people like even in a three at the back playing by himself in that center area is perfectly fine as long as you have those more agile oriented players around him right i still think the card is definitely very solid i think the price of the spc for what this card is and the links that he provides for you and your team uh, is definitely solid as well so i think it's a pretty decent spc for sure obviously for anybody that wants to get like a full meta center back he's not going to be that guy because of the dribbling stats but when it comes to defending like off the ball, I thought he was perfectly fine. His transition speed was perfectly fine. The tackle choices that he made were great. And obviously there's gonna be a couple of situations where the dives into tackles trait will be very helpful in some situations here and there. So uh, I think it's a good SBC. The car design is really cool. I, I definitely mess with it a lot. Uh, those Atletico Madrid links can definitely be a very cool thing to work with. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, guys, even like his physical, like 97 strength, 94 aggression for base card stats, to work with the six foot one height and the high and average body type, like all that just makes sense. Like I said, the only thing that's off about him is dribbling more when it comes to on the ball and off the ball when it comes to chase after for some situations full meta wise, right? But like I said, still a very solid SBC in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes, love you guys.